Hello, Ham Radio Zone. Uh, just, this is Adam N4NT and just wanted to show you a quick video on my um, travel setup for Wires X. Um, I don't uh, have much experience or any experience whatsoever with any kind of uh, hot spots or anything like that. I mostly use Wires X. I have talked to people who have come in to Wires X rooms and so forth using those types of devices and um, still see some occasional issues with uh, people dropping out and that kind of thing. So I, I may get one later on, give it a try or something like that. But uh, as of right now, I just exclusively use uh, Wires X to access Wires X rooms. You know, occasionally I'll use um, Echo Link. You may hear uh, some kids playing in the background as, as usual. We're vacationing right now, and this is my little buddy Jack. He's he's running around playing with a little to toy school bus. Um, but anyway, this is what I use uh, if I go stay in a hotel somewhere, or currently I'm uh, staying at a friend's house. We're in uh, Navarre Beach, Florida, and I have used this um, at a motel in Myrtle Beach, and and uh, been pretty successful with it as far as. Uh, communicating back to uh, repeaters back home and getting into different rooms and and other things that I normally do whenever uh, whenever I'm at home um, especially on a day like today where it's raining and can't really go to the beach the wife's out shopping so I'm hanging out with the kids so doing a little bit of radio is uh, is kind of fun um, this is my other sidekick right here this is Alex he's my older kid he's not been on a video yet so He's uh, he's on this one now. He subscribes to the YouTube channel yep. on his own device too. So this little laptop that I got right here, it's a ThinkPad. Uh, someone actually gave this to me, so I don't have anything invested in this personally. It's not the most extravagant. It does have Windows 10, a couple USB ports. Uh, not even sure what kind of processor it has. You don't need a whole lot to uh, to run Wires X, uh, even if you're hosting a room. But uh, that's a topic for another video. Uh, here's the software loaded onto it. Uh, she probably got these little funny lines because I'm recording a computer screen. Currently connected to QSO America, room 43815, and that's me right there, Space Mountain Portable. You do not have to name your um, nodes or whatever after um, your call sign or anything like that. Your call sign comes up when you transmit. All right, over here is the... Uh, this is my FT3DRHT. This is how we are connecting to the laptop. There's a couple uh, simple wires. Uh, they're a little little tangled over here. Not really tangled, but just the way they look. I've got the SCU19 cable from Yesu. That's plugged into a USB port, and it comes over here and plugs into the data port of the FT3. Right here below it is the speaker mic port, um, in which this little device with these wires is connected into right here and you come over to the end of these wires you can either connect these straight to your computer if you have a microphone and a speaker jack i don't have a microphone jack on this um, uh, laptop i do have a headphone jack is what i meant to say so what i got was this little device here that plugs into the usb port it's a uh, ugreen brand you plug it in it finds the um, drivers and it's good to go uh, just plug that into there and that's how the uh, radio communicates with the computer. I currently have it in Wires X node mode. You can uh, eliminate the use of this by going uh, PDN mode. However, that limits the uh, the rooms that you can access uh, to only digital rooms. This way, I can access analog and digital, um, which I'm currently uh, connected to a uh, analog room at the moment. Um, you can go direct on this thing and just use this HT to talk. Um, I, I don't like doing that for a couple of reasons. One, you have to uh, kick on the uh, and rely on the computer's uh, speaker. And another is, is you're tethered to this laptop by these cables. Um, with uh, the way I've got it set up in access mode, I use this frequency right here. I use my FT70D and I actually can go and sit on the bed at the hotel, go sit in the bathroom or whatever I want to do, sit on the balcony. And it even has a decent enough range. If I'm uh, staying at a hotel that's beachfront, I can just go out onto the beach and uh, actually communicate back with my HT back in the room. Uh, if need be, I've got a, another antenna I can put on this and set on the balcony or whatever, um, which is uh, you know a pretty neat feature. And you can still change rooms 
by putting this thing into uh, the wires X handshake mode and it will tell this uh, radio to tell this computer to switch rooms um, another thing that I do with my travel setup is I've got a uh, got a surge protector right here it actually has a couple USB ports um, for phone charging that kind of thing I always take one of these with me that way I know all my equipment's protected the cool thing about the um, Yaesu HTs is the uh, the wall attachment they come with puts out a full amp so on low power you can actually use the radio while it's plugged in and you don't get that that hum like you do with the uh, the old chargers um, for my FT70 I've got a, uh, a cradle charger and an extra battery so what I do is I just plug in the um, FT3 into the outlet run it on super low power and um, that's how I get that to, to work and then I can just go anywhere in the room basically um, this little uh, USB cable right here is supposed to be made of Kevlar I'd, I'd like to uh, ball it up and like crank a few rounds at it and just see how good it actually works but that's my setup this is uh, not designed to be a technical video to tell you how to set all this up necessarily it's just a hey this is how I do it video if you have any questions on how to set all this up uh, feel free to email me at the email address on the uh, on the YouTube channel, and uh, if need be, we can do a video on how to uh, how to go into a little more in-depth actual setup and getting all this connected. This is more just to show you what you can do with it.